so we are playing some lethal tempo mastery and this is what the enemy team comp looks like man wouldn't it be interesting to go like a bursty lethal tempo comp because that's kind of how i'm feeling right now with uh the amount of squishies they have on their team i'm thinking dust blade with lethal tempo now you may be wondering cowstep why would you bring lethal tempo and dust blade i'm gonna be honest guys i didn't look at champ select but it does sound like it'll be a lot of fun so we're gonna try it and we're gonna see because they're squishy and we're gonna go and viz Bro, we're gonna be like smack, 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 so fast, so fast, so furious. Oh man, that bot lane's looking yummy. They know that Lulu's flashless. There was a level one invade this game, and Lulu is flashless, so there's a good chance that they try and go for her. Well, they hit level two. They're gonna get greedy. They're gonna get greedy. This level two strategy is a really common strategy of mine. If they get aggressive early, you want to go in for the game. Oh yeah, lethal tempo. We're charging our lasers. Boom, that's how we smack them down. And honestly, that wave is looking really good. You know, I love when lethal tempo gets proc light up. Wait, why is he giving me an extra eight seconds? Come on, come on. That that was a pity second that it just gave me. So we already got eight seconds lethal tempo. I love when we get this early <laughs> tempo going for us. So um, yeah, so far so good. We got a lot of gold. And you know what? I might just like straight up rush uh, Berserker Greaves into the Dust Blade. I think that might actually be kind of cool. That might be a cool build. Uh, Berserker Greaves into Dust Blade. And maybe like after the Dust Blade, we can go for like an attack speed build or something. And then we just end up playing Dust Blade as like an attack speed build with invisibility. That sounds kind of interesting instead of going for like a full bursty build. Yeah, you know what? I might do that. I might do that. So let's uh, go ahead and clear these wolves. We're going to pull it up. We want to make sure this has about 160-ish health, which is, you know, more than... Mmm, that wolf clear was so good. More than what it has right now. So we're going to grab this. Uh, Kha'Zix is probably going to be bot side. Yeah, he's already bot side there. And the reason why we knew that is maybe he showed himself on the minimap. I don't know. But the idea is that he ganked top, so he had to go bot side to pick up his camps. And so he's going to be the one getting bot side crab while I get top side crab. And man, I am ready to go get that right now. Let's go. I'm level four, baby. Just like bot lane, Renekton leveled up and thinks he has the advantage. These are my favorite kind of games. What is he doing? What, what, what is going on here? Okay, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. It was, uh, he was pretty ambitious. I, I don't think he realized Malphite was baiting him there, but Malphite was totally baiting him there. So we're going to go down here, grab this, and then it's pretty much just going to be Berserker Greaves into a bunch of AD items, and we're going to attack fast. You got to attack fast. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? So there we go. We grab this grump, and let's head back to base and buy our items. Okay, here we are on the Krugs, and guys, I just realized I can't buy no boots. Yeah, so we had the magical footwear rune. So, you know, we just got to go to lethality route. And honestly, this hasn't been the most optimal build since Magic got reworked. Typically, you go like Blade and Rune King as your second or your first item, right? And then you later go into your mythical as either your second or your third. But I just really want to rush at this game. Again, not necessarily because of the lethality, though the lethality is nice. Uh, we want to rush it because we want to get the invisibility, especially if we're going to team fight or anything like that. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we also have the uh, Cosmic Insight here, which gives us a really short cooldown smite. And I actually, I'm kind of growing in love with this because it gives our flash like a 46 second cooldown less. It gives our smite the ability to have Red Smite as the uh, Rift Herald spawns. I'm going in, boys. I dodged that. I'm just saying. I dodged that. Give me that assist. That's what I'm talking about right there. I was following it. I wasn't trying to steal. I was following it just in case they missed. So we see Katarina coming down bot side. Uh, she's going to try and collapse in my jungle here. Ooh -wee! So easy. Easy bait. Easy bait. Easy bait. Easy bait. Easy bait. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Come on. Come on. Wait, so we're back on the top side jungle, and I think I got snared by Lux, and I could not alpha strike in that last fight. I was gonna do some like really really cool gameplay there but um okay that poor poor Kazakhs I'd feel bad for him if he wasn't playing Kazakhs yeah so uh, maybe I should have been scared 
But honestly, I thought I could make some outplays. I did not even see that Lux Q, though. Like, I didn't realize until my alpha was, like, blanked out and I couldn't use my alpha strike that, uh, something had CC'd me there. But anyway, we got ourselves a good amount of items, so ganking a lane would be very profitable for us right now. Let's go and grab red buff. And then we can, uh, clear, like, the raptors down into the Krugs. Should be a pretty solid clear. We could also look at maybe possibly looking to see if the crab's there. Uh, I don't have great confidence in the crab because we were just fighting over it. And I don't know if it's respawned since then. I don't imagine it has. So the crab should be gone. I'm going to go down to the Krugs and then possibly look for a gank in the bot lane. But the fact of the matter is, is we are quite fed itemized. So we do want to look for some fights. And we do want to utilize this level advantage that we have in uh, one of these lanes. Unfortunately, bot lane is backing. Oh, they're not backing. They're fighting. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, bot lane. Daddy's coming. Yes, you may call me daddy. We're getting boots in about 10 seconds. Let's go. We're going deep. Uh, you could have like tanked it for me, but that's okay. I got I got meditate. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. See ya. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Not today, Katarina. I am not my team. All right, so here we are on the top side. Unfortunately, my blue is gone. Malphite does have ulti, and he might be able to bait this Renekton all the way to the tower. <laughs> A little bit of bait. <laughs> Dude, he's making it so obvious. But Renekton fell for it anyway. <laughs> oh goodness like dude it was so obvious okay well you know i i say we just dive i uh i just need to get double strike up rip so um you know i did get the kill on renekton but katarina is getting kind of fed she's got three kills now no problem no problem uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear these raptors. The crab on the bot side is gone. How's our level looking? Our level diff is not too bad. We're two levels behind Katarina, which is kind of bad, but everybody else is looking pretty good. And these Krugs are going to give us one level. And uh, we can go gank bottom with this level. Well, let's go. Man, look how much EXP these little Krugs give you, man. It's, it's a lot. Like, skipping little Krugs can really hurt your progress. Oh, this Lux is on the move. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Ooh, -hoo, that Lux is looking delicious. Give me some. Uh oh. Oh, this Lou's a beast. Is it the Lulu that is a beast or I? Hmm, that was beautiful. You guys like those meditates? Oh, they're so clean. They're so clean. And Lulu is so good. Thank you, Lulu. I really appreciated her help there. Man, Dustblade just popping. You, you, you gotta admit, it still does a lot of damage. Like Dustblade does, even if you do uh, less alpha damage. Like, they killed the ratios on it really hard. But again, like Dustblade is about uh, using the invisibility. Heading over to my red buff. Our team is having some fights in mid. And guys, I'm going to be building a collector as my second item. And then we're going to pivot over into a rage blade to convert that crit into on hit instead of a uh, crit. If you guys don't know, Alpha Strike was nerfed uh, last month to do like 35% crit damage instead of 50%. So it's it's a bit weaker. Um, and because of that, I don't really want to sit on crit that long. You do have to keep in mind your autos can still crit, though, and your autos do uh, some physical damage. But I, I think like just having Rage Blade is just better. I'm on my way. That guy has no ulti now. Oh, I rushed an Umbral thing. Did my cat just walk across the webcam? Okay, so we're in the top side jungle here. I'm gonna pick up my blue buff. We're getting really close to finishing that collector. Uh, Katarina's two levels up on me. Renekton's one level up. 
I'd rather just get this Gromp if I could, and then pivot to help top lane. Now, if we go top lane, we lose Dragon, but I think we lose Dragon anyway. Oh, goodness. That's sad. Remember, guys, it's okay to give up Dragon sometimes. Sag. Oh man, Renekton was sitting in that bush. Hmm. Maybe if we wait patiently. Looks like Kazix is heading over to uh, here. We can't wait here too long. We have to keep in mind that Kazix is on the moon. Okay, well, we had to make a move before the Kazix did something. That was kind of my idea there. Uh oh. I am completely on my lonesome here. Oh, Kha'Zix is in mid. I thought Kha'Zix was coming. He actually pivoted towards uh, mid lane. Okay, so we get the full tower gold, which is great. We get a lot of gold out of this. Um, and we can go down and help Malphite with the Rift Herald. And then we can begin working on our Gunzu's Rage Blade afterwards, maybe. I mean, we still got a full clear. So I'm, I'm actually kind of curious on the, if I should just do this full clear or if I should go back for the Dust Blade. Uh, or sorry, the collector. I think Malphite's doing a great job. Really easy lane for me to gank. I really appreciate him. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Wait, is he AFK? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go down and grab these wolves. I got a lot of gold, but this also gives us enough to buy the Rage Knife right now with what we have. Uh, and by the way, guys, I am playing the nerfed Master Yi. So this is the Master Yi... That was not hot fixed. So China still hasn't gotten a recent patch. So if you're playing Yi, your Yi will be a little bit stronger than mine. Mm, uh, maybe I should back here. Yeah, I don't really have much. I'm going to go by. Okay, so here we are running into the top side. Lux and friends are all in mid lane. And we have the Rage Knife. We no longer are critting with our Alpha Strike or our autos. But instead, we are gaining on hit damage. So actually, when you look at it, when you think about it from the perspective of 20% crit here, right? Um, you would have a 20% chance to do a little bit of extra damage with Alpha Strike, right? It'll critical strike for an extra 69 damage. You have a 20% chance to do an extra 70 damage, okay? Or you could just convert that into 35 damage on every auto. And on your Alpha Strike, you get like 30, right? So you are technically getting more damage with Rage Knife than you are with crit. Right, if you just look at the numbers, 35 on hit damage, which also goes into Alpha Strike for like 30 on hit damage, compared to a 20% chance to do 70 damage. Right, so uh, I think Rage Blade is really good for getting, you know, the secure amount of damage. Oh man, this Katarina is like full health. I'm coming, Malphite. All right, not too bad. But please don't stop watch. She does not. Okay, good dodge. Uh, I am almost good to go here. Is she gonna flash? I think I can still get her. My Highlander is still going. Oh, it's off. Feels bad, man. Her ability came on as mine went off. All right, let's summon Shelly. Get us, get us a tower here. No big deal. No big deal. And we do see Kazix. I'm gonna let Shelly crash that and then hopefully crash into the inner tower. We're gonna try and oh yeah, I don't have blade of ranking. I'm not life stealing. I gotta say, it's kinda weird. Um <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yo, Malphite's here trying to protect me, boy. Whoa, where did Katarina come from? Okay, Katarina's going in. She's trying to secure my team before the dragon spawns. Ooh, yes, that's good. We can actually secure the dragon now. Does she have Vizanyas? Always check Vizanyas and stopwatches in their inventory. Trust me. I should have anticipated the kill and stayed invisible. My mistake. Oof. We gotta run back to this dragon. Kha'Zix and me both spawned at the same time. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a close one, but the dragon is dragged over towards us. Hang on, I'm coming. That's really nice of my team to keep leashing the dragon for the end. I'm almost there. Oh, I need to reset. Oh my god, that Malphite ult was beautiful. Oh, 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 oh my jeez. What would you say if I told you that wasn't even the best fight in the video? Okay, well, you know what? 
I'm not gonna lie, I creamed my pants a little bit when I saw that Malphite ult. That was, that was crazy. Yo, you guys wanna go do Baron? Let's go do Baron. I 100% agree with this Baron call here. <laughs> of course, because it's my Baron call. <laughs> yeah, you'd hope so. But yeah, you really want to try and secure these Barons. Uh, I think it's way more important than securing an inhibitor. Because typically, you secure an inhibitor so that you can secure a Baron later. But if you could just secure the Baron, just secure the Baron, don't secure the inhibitor. Because the inhibitor is going to give them farm too. So it just, it's just not worth it in my opinion. Oh. Well, Vagar had one second left on his uh, respawn there. That's kind of unlucky. I'm gonna give this blue over to Vagar. I think he can. Uh, I think he can use it. Oh nope, he wants to give it to me. I don't know what he's saying, but sure, I'll take that blue buff. Thank you, Vagar. I'm getting a Death Dance as my next item, guys, so that I like. I'm basically gonna be a reset machine, right? That's why I love like Dustblade in a comp like this, right? You become a reset machine. Um, I still need a little bit more gold before I back, so we're gonna be looking at maybe securing. Oh, okay. My team's going in. Interesting. Okay, that Malphite. Dude, this Malphite's king, dude. He's just, he's carrying th this game so hard. What a beast. Hey, okay, you know. I say these nice things about him and then he like... Holy crap, dude. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, so guys, next up on the purchase is a uh, Guardian Angel, I guess. I think Guardian Angel is the way to go. We need to have more survivability in these team fights. And outside of just straight up getting HP, Guardian Angel is the way here. Let me go ahead and ping that I need this camp. I need this for my Guardian Angel, brother. And this actually puts me in position to get it, so I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so the stopwatch is acquired, but Jinx got randomly picked off by Katarina. Uh, I am now the same level as Katarina. That's a pretty big deal for us. Let's move the stopwatch onto my three key. That's where I like it to be. So basically, guys, the idea is that I run in and I alpha strike as an engage, maybe with Malphite. And if the enemy can react, let's say that Renekton isn't stunned or I can't get a reset, we immediately use stopwatch. And then what happens is when the stopwatch wears off, we should hopefully be invisible. Yeah, that's that that's the plan. So uh, we're going to wait for our team. We're not going to check any fog of war. No fog of war for me until my team shows up. Yep, none of that. None of that. None of that. Well, the crab is up, though. Okay, that's my crab. Thank you, guys. Well, the crab is always nice to get before you're fighting over an objective. Nothing like having that extra vision. And also, I believe it's out of combat movement speed. I don't even think it's in combat movement speed. I don't think you get in it. Oh my god, they're clumping for the Malphite ult. Any Zanyas on Lux? No Zanyas on Lux. And we just canceled Kha'Zix. Zanyas is fair. <laughs> Zanyas is fair. What can I say? Oh, what in the world was that? Hey, come back here! Watch this, damn it. What the? She's, she went over the pit, you can tell because of how my character reorganized itself. Oh, we're getting picked off, friends. We're getting picked off. Looks like Kha'Zix is pulling this over this way. Man, I was going to show you guys how much damage I was about to do to that MF, and then she just, like, ditched. But Stopwatch did a lot of work, so I'm actually really happy with that. It performed its purpose. Literally performed this purpose. I instantly killed the Lux, and then while they were trying to kill me. Perfect. That's how it goes. Can we get his GA? I really want his GA. Where is he? There he goes. He's in the pit. He's in the back here. I'm going deep. I'm going deep. Hey, buddy. What is this bug doing? What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out. Oh, Katarina's here. He was waiting for Katarina. What in the world are these throws? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't want to die there. Like, for some reason, I thought I was way tankier than I was. Ooh, no thank you. Yo, dude, guys, this is a Baron. Yeah, so we should probably go back, sell the boots, get Guardian Angel, and then head over to the Baron pit. 
Oh no, she is not doing that. She is not doing that. They are definitely doing that. I'm I'm just I'm doing me, guys. Yeah, honestly, folks, we're in such a good position to do Baron here. I don't they're just kind of chilling over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and start running towards a pit. And guess what, guys? There's a crab on that baron for me. Yeah, it looks like the crab luck is uh really shining today. But I mean we didn't get to use it on the uh, dragon. Um, so if we begin this Baron, yeah, I'll kill this crab real quick. Okay, I guess he's going to kill the crab real quick. Uh, Kha'Zix is over here. Since Master Yi is bad at 50-50 smites, make sure to ask your team to keep the enemy jungler out of the Oh, he does not. Nice. Secured. Yeah, I was a bit worried he might have vision, but yeah, I have a guardian angel now. I'm in really good shape here for a team fight. I am kind of tempted to get a little bit of gold for a pair of uh, tabbies. So let me go ahead and ping my tabbies here. I need 69 gold. That's what I like to see. And then we can pick up some tabbies and begin the team fight. Oh my god, I hate Death Dance. Okay, so here we are grouping up with our team in mid lane. We got Baron. We denied them the Dragon Soul. Barely. Now it is time for us to move together as a team. We do not ever separate. I know Malphite's a little bit behind us, but this is the exception. Once he gets here, we will never separate. I know Lulu's going alone, but that's also the exception. We will never ever separate. Well, anyway, that's the idea, is that we don't want to separate. And honestly, I'm fine with diving. I have my flash coming up, which by the way is because of my rune. If I didn't have the rune, my flash would still be in cooldown for another minute. So this rune is performing just like it should be. Check out how much Death Dance pops off in this fight. It's actually insane. Oh, look at my Death Dance healing me. Oh my God. That was amazing. I want to chase her down. Does it make me a bad person? Where are you at? Where are you at? Wait, where'd she go? Wait, she's like a Houdini. Oh, she's here. Man, that was so nice of her to just kind of step out of that fountain for me. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's game. If you want to see another game like this, try this one. This one's a pretty good game. And let me know if you guys want to see any builds down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and hit that like button.